Now, road users in Ekiti State have been advised to be cognizant of the road signs and avoid overspeeding during the Salah celebrations. This advice was given by the Ekiti Sector Commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Fumilayo Akinlade, during a public enlightenment campaign on the use of roundabouts in the state capital. She also urged residents to adhere strictly to COVID-19 protocols as laid down by the government. The state coordinator of the Special Mashal, Adebayo Folakemi, said the campaign was born out of genuine desire to reduce road crashes in Adoekiti. We observe as well that people don't give right of way to traffic on their left. We have gone to the radio and television to enlighten motorists. And today we are demonstrating it practically for people to see and be able to adjust to their old way of driving while approaching the roundabout. And again, we are also enforcing uh, 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 motorists, I mean public transport uh, operators that are not complying with the directive of the government. Uh, we are here this morning to sensitize our people on how to use the roundabout. In the United States, we observe that our people do not uh, know how to use the roundabout. They are, they're supposed to know that they should give way to those people at the left to move. But rather, those people at the right hand will be arguing with the people at the left hand, even with cousins in the United States. That is the reason we are held this money, to sensitize our people or now to make use of our roundabout. We're now joined by the spokesperson of the FRSC, BC Kazim. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, tell us more on the campaign uh, the Corps is carrying out this festive period. Well, we are fully ready for any eventuality. As is usual of us and ethical of us, we start with uh, advocacy, public enlightenment and uh, public education to sensitize the general public and the monetary public on the proper usage of the road during this period. Because we know that uh, uh, there will be upsurge in vehicular and uh, human traffic because of the festivity and uh, because of the public holiday. You realize that uh, even non-Muslims will travel because it's an opportunity uh, for, for them to have a long weekend. So we are engaging in traffic coming, uh, traffic control, traffic enforcement, and uh, education to make sure that people uh, abide by all the rules and regulations and uh, each free seller. And that is what we I, I want to engage in. All right, well, we're looking at pictures from the uh, campaign in Equity State uh, just before I came on now. And we know that Equity is just one out of many states. How widespread is this campaign? Uh, well, it's all over. All the state commands, all the unit commands, uh, let, 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 me, let me tell you that we have uh, 12 Zuna commands, we have uh, 37 sector commands, and we have over 200 uh, plus uh, unit commands. So each command has been mandated to take this campaign, not only on roundabout, but on uh, different, different uh, uh, ways of making our road safe to the grassroots. And uh, they must abide. We have mobile courts. We have uh, public education all, all over. So it's, it's nationwide. All right. What, what is the atmosphere like now on the road, especially interstate trips with the time restriction of 10 p.m.? Well, we, we have uh, equally told people to make sure that they, they, they look at their time very well and give yourself more time. If you know you are going to Lagos from, uh, uh, let's say, Abuja, you have to move on time or break your journey to, I mean, to two days instead of one day. So that you won't be uh, caught up. If you are eventually caught up, you, you sleep there and uh, continue your journey next day. It's, a, it's has been happening. A lot of people are stopped at the boundaries or toll gates and uh, they won't be allowed after 10. So it's, it's, a, it's a protocol. It's a, there's nothing anybody can do about that because the government directives have to be followed. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Kazim, for sharing your thoughts and letting Nigerians know what you're doing to keep us safe on the roads. You're welcome.